Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing exactly where we are anticipating to see RDJ's Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom after the official confirmation and announcement this past weekend at San Diego's Comic-Con with Marvel Studios Hall H presentation to be appearing within the MCU. Many fans out there have been discussing and talking about it. They actually think it's going to be before what they had actually announced during the Hall H presentation before the next Avengers movie. Of course, we're going to go ahead we're gonna break it all down for you guys everything that we know and everything that we're anticipating right now before we do though however grab that subscribe button if you haven't already as we're discussing and covering all types of marvel related news leaks rumors theories and breakdowns here on the channel so if you guys are into any of that go ahead and grab that subscribe button today yeah okay so in this video we are going to be taking a quick read from the direct article i'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source so will rdj's dr doom be in the fantastic four first steps movie the movie's slated to come out uh july 25th of next year 2025 and it recently just went into its actual production and filming this week after they had also held a presentation for that at marvel studios hall h presentation at san diego's comic-con um, this past weekend there as well and it's something i've kind of touched on in and out of videos here on the channel and to the regards of dr doom where he's going to be appearing here within the mcu specifically rdj's uh dr doom we should really specify it especially within you know being in the multiversal saga dealing with all these different variants it does kind of create a bit of confusion out there it feels so essentially the way that my fan theory personally has gone and i think that other people have maybe probably also mentioned this and kind of agree with this whole idea is essentially uh, of course the fantastic four first steps is going to go through you know set up the origin story essentially of those characters of fantastic four in the good old mcu fashion probably so except the year is going to be a post credit scene essentially a lot of people think of you know dr doom uh following the fantastic four the, essentially what they're saying is that the fantastic four are going to find themselves traveling into the three one or into the 616 sacred timeline essentially where the mcu is technically taking place and dr doom played by rdj is going to follow them into you know whatever kind of given portal that very well could be essentially and i say that because uh, i don't think that the fantastic four first steps is going to be taking place within the mcu technically as it's been described as a retro 60s that's going to be a, a futuristic retro 60s to be exact it's going to be too futuristic for its time essentially and so fans are now kind of garnering like okay this is probably like in some type of other um universe essentially a part of the multiverse uh an alternate universe where there's just more advanced technology essentially i mean we've kind of touched on in that a little bit like we see during captain america the first avenger the kind of the technology that they were using during that time period like of course in universe uh you know uh, during the 40s and throughout the events of world war ii when that movie takes place with howard stark as well being like a big play into that like technology advancement as well i think it's going to have some type of play into everything that's going on with that except as i had mentioned in an alternate universe and as i had also mentioned the way that we'll see that all kind of come to a conclusion and everything get set up within the mcu sacred timeline or the 616 uh, timeline essentially for for Avengers Doomsday is that the uh, Fantastic Four are going to be brought into pretty much a Doctor Strange portal is my guess, my best guess, and then that we'll see uh, Doctor Doom follow them into the said portal, played by RDJ, uh, to essentially wreak havoc and uh, you know do his thing and set things up for Avengers Doomsday. So, reading from the Direct's article, Robert Downey Jr., RDJ's confirmed casting as the MCU's Doctor Doom, brings up the question of whether he will be in the cast of the Fantastic Four first step movie we'll probably also get some more word on this from industry insiders and other reports in the following year as they are currently filming and in the production right now so of course we'll continue to keep you guys updated with that and all types of other marvel related news leaks rumors theories and breakdowns here on the channel it's all the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already so marvel studios outdid itself by announcing rdj's casting as victor von doom or at least a variant of the character at its san diego comic-con sdcc 2024 hall h panel leading to a boyish of ovation and reaction from the fans quite literally honestly broke the internet this came shortly after marvel studios revealed the official titer for its first fantastic four movie set within the mcu technically while giving fans the first official look at the movie with a conceptual uh, trailer also the all-star cast in their action as well 
Following the announcement and the official confirmation, director Matt Shakeman of the movie had to keep mum on whether Doom will be involved with the solo outing, telling comicbook.com that he can't say anything about RDJ's inclusion in the cast. Not necessarily denying it, but not necessarily confirming it. Kind of, you know, how it usually goes. So, with that implication, we're kind of maybe able to take it with a grain of salt that he isn't able to say anything, so th there's probably going to be some type of involvement, whether it's a simple reference or an actual cameo of the character as I had mentioned you know appearing in a post credit scene where he makes his way into the 616 uh, universe uh, timeline of the MCU setting things up for Avengers Doomsday now while the director Shakeman might be dodging the question we aren't it simply goes two of one ways. Either he isn't or he is not. So the article continues by breaking it down with three reasons RDJ's Doom will not appear in Fantastic Four first steps, followed by three reasons that he will. First and foremost, Fantastic Four's villain is going to be Galactus, told from the conceptual art trailer as well. It's not going to be Doctor Doom necessarily. Also, something I've kind of briefly mentioned here in out of the videos here on the channel, I'd like to break it down in more detail and in more depth about what I think they're doing with the character of Galactus is essentially replacing it with the character of Kang. Like, well, I think we'll see more of Galactus appearing in and out of future Marvel projects. So, for one, Doom just isn't the kind of straightforward villain of Fantastic Four. For another, Fantastic Four First Steps is not necessarily an origin story as well. We kind of know the 2005's Fantastic Four, the 2015's Fantastic movie as well. You know, it's just like the, the kind of uh, origin story of those characters. I want to argue that Fantastic Four First Steps is going to tell partial of that origin story based off of the conceptual art uh, trailer, but all at the same time, it's hard to tell. I'll also briefly want to mention, I'll have a whole other video talking about the conceptual trailer for Fantastic Four in a later video here on the channel. It's all the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already. But essentially, you know, it kind of to, it ties into the, the last point I made there. Galactus is the main villain of this movie, not Doctor Doom, because Doctor Doom has kind of already been the, that main big bad for the Fantastic Four a couple of times as well. Another reason is that Doom was not initially announced with the rest of the Fantastic Four cast either. So, you know, if that was the case, Marvel probably would have been very straight up and forward with it. The same way that we're kind of seeing them with uh, Galactus, essentially. They probably, like, would have wanted to announce that with the rest of the cast to build up some hype with it overall. So, here are three reasons we think that RDJ's Doom will also appear in Fantastic Four First Steps. As I had mentioned, it kind of goes both, you know, two ways. There's reasons why and reasons why not. And I'll get into all these different reasons in separate features videos here on the channel break it all down in more detail and in more depth there just isn't enough time in today's video so real quick three reasons the fantastic four director matt shagman has known about rdj's doom casting for a while having revealed that in a recent interview over the weekend fantastic four takes place in another universe kind of following within that kind of theory as i had mentioned at the beginning of this video as well and also lastly marvel's avenger villains are usually introduced in an earlier movie before taking center stage similar to how we see thanos and the first couple of Avengers movies before we see Thanos really take center stage as the big bad for Infinity War and Endgame. This year all being said though, however guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions and theories in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.